Oh, got a new mattress. And it came in a box. And it's currently rolled up. What a world we live in. <laughs> Gotta cut it open now. I freaking love opening things. Oh. oh, it's been so long since I've slept on a good bed. Fuck. You know when you do something so stupid? that you just don't want to tell anyone about it because it was like so embarrassing and like such a fail that you just look like a complete total idiot for doing it. That happened to me yesterday. <laughs> of all things, I sprained my lower back yesterday and I guess maybe it was because a couple of days ago I went to the gym and maybe I was sore and well, maybe it was like because I moved my body a lot when I was trying to you know move things to get ready for this uh, apartment move. but. I sprained it in the most stupid way, like the most embarrassing, least cool way ever. So I was shopping, right? Just grocery shopping. And I had one of those like wheelie trolley things, sort of like a basket but with wheels, right? And I was throwing all my groceries in and all that kind of stuff. And you know, I was ready to check out. And so I was at the checkout and I grabbed something from the basket and I went to go scan it. But as I went to go grab it, I pulled my back. <laughs> Just like that, and I couldn't get up, and it was like the worst pain <laughs> ever. And I've like sprained my back so many times with like doing really heavy deadlifts or just you know pushing myself really hard in the gym, and then I go and do it checking out freaking groceries at at the supermarket. Oh my god, so lame. <laughs> and it sucks because I had to like delay everything uh, when it comes to moving into this new apartment, right? So I like, you know, told the, the building management and I, you know, blocked time with uh, my parents for them to come help me out. And, you know, I rented the, the van and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I had to delay it all. Such a pain in the ass. <sighs> Whatever. This vlog's gonna be about me moving in slowly and getting my things in during the week and buying new things and going to Ikea and doing all that stuff. As I mentioned in the last episode, when I left for Japan and when I left to be a nomad, I literally sold everything. So I need to go back and get everything that's essential to just daily life. You know, stuff like linen and towels and forks and other random stuff that you just don't really pay attention to day to day. So yeah. This is my setup right now. It's uh, you know, just the bed and then I'm doing work here at the moment on the ground. <laughs> I don't have anything at the moment. It's just like, it's just bare. <laughs> Even like the main area. I've got some gear over there and that's about it. But um, we'll see how my back holds up because I was supposed to get a whole bunch of stuff and move in today. But I don't know, we might do that maybe in a couple of days, see how my back feels. I can't even walk at the moment or like walk well right now. So uh, hopefully it gets better. This is what the room sounds like right now with nothing in it. It's really, really echoey. So I'm gonna put some carpets in and we're gonna see how it changes the space and the sound. One more time. Yeah, it's bad. Two big carpets here, as you can see. Had to buy two separate ones because the space was like a little bit empty. But um, echo is still a huge problem right now. So we'll have to try and fix that later on. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna solve it. Maybe with the walls or something like that. I don't know. By the way, you guys ever had these? These are amazing. If you ever go to Japan, get these. Good thing they have it in my local supermarket. Best Japanese snacks. If you like chocolate, mmm. All right, now that I have all the space to work with, I can finally start building stuff. I bought a whole bunch of like shelves and now my entire hallway is just filled with stuff. 
that I need to build. See these boxes over there? That one too, and the one at the back. So let's get to building. So now we've got a beautiful shelf that I finished up. And this is just to separate the space and to show off some of the gear and so that some of the stuff that I use on a regular basis is just like easily accessible, like my lenses and you know, my bodies and stuff like that. Oh yeah, very important delivery today. This is probably the delivery I'm most excited about, electric pour over kettle, yeah. God, how nice is this? I try and go budget on most things, but there are some things that I just can't help but uh, spend money on, and this is one of them. You know, making good coffee for me is like such a huge deal. So I put my money where the coffee is. Oh, oh my God. So tired. <laughs> oh my God. So yesterday I didn't vlog at all. Uh, we managed to move everything in from my previous place into here and so my apartment looks like a freaking mess right now it's like a table on the floor over there and you know a whole bunch of stuff in boxes and bags and a whole bunch of stuff in my bedroom and there's just stuff everywhere <laughs> so yeah I, I couldn't actually move the majority of my things in until yesterday today's Friday and it's like a full week almost that I've been here but yeah, I'm gonna to spend today fixing all this stuff up and making sure it looks good. And you know, it's gonna be good because after this, the majority of my things left to do is just decorations and finessing the place. So super excited to get this last little bit done so I can get back to work and also to start making this place into a little bit more of a home. All right, I forgot to film an outro for this vlog, so instead you get a nice voiceover while watching time lapses of me setting up the studio. Yeah. If you're watching this, thanks so much for sticking around to the end. The apartment's pretty much done now, and I've actually been here for a couple of months already, so I'm pretty settled in, and you know what? I really can't wait to show you guys what it's like. So the next video will probably be like a full proper studio tour, like a full setup tour. So look out for that sometime in the near future when I finally get some time to get around to that. Anyway, thanks again. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more. For now, be well, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.